Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Online Sunday School. I'm excited about our Bible story this week. We're continuing the story of Moses and the Israelites. Does anyone remember what we talked about last week? It was about Moses and the Israelites. So remember, they were in Egypt and Moses kept asking Pharaoh to let the people go. And finally, after God sent 10 plagues, Pharaoh let the people go. And then he changed his mind when they were on their way. And they got to the Reed Sea and they were stuck between the sea and Pharaoh's army. And they didn't know what they were going to do. And Moses prayed to God and God parted the waters of the Reed Sea. And the people walked through on dry land. And then God let the waters fall back down and they were safe. It was a pretty incredible story. If you missed last week's lesson, you might want to go back and get the recap because it was just so cool. God is so powerful and awesome, isn't God? Wow. So this week, we are picking up right where we left off. And we are going to talk about Miriam. Miriam was Moses' sister. So let's read about what Miriam does in our Bible storybook. Want to? So here's our pictures in our Bible storybook today. You can see all these people look very happy. Someone is playing a tambourine. It looks like this is the Reed Sea and the waters have just fallen back down and they're so happy that they're safe. God has protected them from Pharaoh's army. Okay, so our Bible story is from Exodus, the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verses 1 through 21. And this chapter is called Songs of Joy. So let's read. Miriam, Moses' sister, sang, Sing to the Lord. She was happy. God's people were happy. God helped them cross the Reed Sea. Now the people were safe. Miriam was so happy that she wanted to sing and dance. She wanted to thank God for taking care of them. Miriam sang, sing to the Lord, and played music on her tambourine. Oh, so I think this is Miriam. You think so? Then Miriam and all her friends played their tambourines as they sang together, sing to the Lord. Are you ever just so happy or so thankful that you want to sing about it or dance about it. That's how the people were feeling when God saved them from Pharaoh's army. They were so happy that they wanted to sing and dance and praise God for looking out for them and being there for them. Um, sometimes we do that too, right? Uh, a lot of the songs we sing in church or in choir with Miss Kathy, um, a lot of songs that we sing are praise songs, and it means we just want to be happy and say thank you to God for uh, all the good things in our lives and for all that God does for us and for the fact that God loves us and cares about us and wants to be in a relationship with us. Um, it's a thing that a lot of people have been doing for a long time and Miriam was one of those people. Maybe she was one of uh, the first ones in the whole Bible to sing a song of praise to God. That's pretty cool. This Bible story and uh, Miriam in our Bible story show us that even when things are hard or scary, um, the Israelites just had a really hard and scary time running away from Pharaoh, but they took a moment after that to be thankful and praise God. And that can teach us that, uh, it can teach us to look for the good in every situation. Um, it can teach us to look for where God is working through a hard time. Sometimes it's hard to see when you're in the middle of a hard time where God is working. But if you 
take time to praise God and be thankful to God and notice what God is doing in your life, sometimes you can see the good in things. And that's what Miriam was doing. And I think that's a good practice for us too, to not focus all the time on the bad stuff and the hard stuff. Um, there's a place for that for sure. But sometimes we just need to think about the positive stuff too, and then give thanks to God for those things. So, do you have any idea what our craft might be today? We're talking about songs and giving praise to God and singing and dancing. It's really cool. So, do you remember from our Bible story what the people, including Miriam, had? They had these tambourines. A tambourine is a musical instrument, and we're going to make uh, some kind of pretend tambourines as a craft today. Doesn't that sound fun? So, for the craft, you will need some tape, uh, some scissors, possibly, a paper plate, but you can't guess what this is going to be. It's going to be our tambourine. And some tissue paper. It can be any color. Or if you have some streamer streamers or crepe paper, those will also work and will be easier to use. But I did not have any streamers, so I'm using tissue paper instead. And then got some markers. And you can use crayons, color pencils, something to color with. Okay? So let's get started with our craft. Step one, you take your plate and take whatever colors you have and you color said plate with said colors, okay? So just whatever you want, whatever design, if you wanna color it all one color, if you wanna not color it, you can, or if you wanna make your own picture, whatever you want to draw on your plate. So uh, take a moment, draw and color your plate, and then we will meet back for the next step. Okay, did you color your plate? Is it fun and fancy? Here's what mine looks like. I just made it some happy colors that I liked. and. I hope that yours is fun and happy or interesting or has a cool picture. So um, if you need to take a moment and finish your plate, you can. You can pause this or something and finish up. And if you're ready to move on, we can move on to the next step. So the next step is to take your tissue paper or crepe paper or whatever kind of paper you have. And since I have tissue paper, I'm gonna need to cut it up into some thin strips, um, maybe just like an inch wide, maybe even skinnier. I'm gonna cut it into some strips. If you have crepe paper, you'll want to unroll it a bit, um, get them as long as you want, not terribly long, but like some long strips and cut those or tear those if you have uh, streamers. So I'm going to cut up my tissue paper and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. Okay, so I have my plate and I have all my strips of paper. If you have yours too, we're ready to move on to the next part. So take your plate and take your, your streamer pieces or your tissue paper pieces and put them on the back. Hold it to the back of your paper plate and then this is where the tape comes in. I'm going to put tape on the edge to hold it down so it's gonna hang off your plate like this but you can see where we're going with this right this is this is the makings of our tambourine so however many strips you have uh, just keep putting them around your plate on the back oh no, my tissue paper's blowing away and then oh my gosh everything is blowing away hang on 
saved it. Keep putting your tissue paper around the outside of your plate um, every couple of inches or so. Put some tissue paper and tape and then we'll come back for uh, the next part. All right, I think it's done. Shall we do the big reveal? One, two, three. Woohoo! This is so fun. It's a tambourine. And what you can do with a tambourine is you hold it up and you can shake it, you can tap on it, and it can make music. Um, you can uh, throw it around in the wind and have listen to the swish and sing songs with it. Um, a whole lot of fun. You can pretend you're Miriam after they were saved from Pharaoh's army and you can pretend that you are standing on the seashore of the Reed Sea and playing your tambourine and singing your song of praise to God. Wouldn't that be fun? Now that we have our super awesome tambourines, let's say our prayer to God. And I think since we have our tambourines, we should shake them while we pray. It can be a prayer of praise, right? Okay, so get your tambourine ready to shake during our prayer. All right, here's the words of our prayer. You can read along with it if you want. So get your tambourine ready and let's pray. Dear God, thank you for reasons to celebrate. Amen. This was so fun and such a good reminder that we always have a reason to celebrate. Um, Miriam reminds us that even when things are scary or hard, we can still take a moment and express our joy and thanks to God for all that God does for us. And thanks for God, thanks to God for always being there for us. Isn't that something big to be thankful for always? Yeah, that's a big deal. So I hope you enjoy your tambourine and I have a great idea of what you can do with it today. So if you just really wanted to, you could play your tambourine, shake your tambourine, while you sing some worship songs today. You could do it during, if you're gonna watch online worship with your family, you could bring it to in-person worship if your family is coming to in-person worship and shake it during the songs to show your praise. Um, or you could even listen to some music, some worship music or something at your house and play your tambourine. Or you could make up your own songs of praise for God and dance around your yard or something and play your tambourine. So many uses for this. Isn't that great? I highly encourage you to utilize this at some point during the day to praise God. Okay, well that was our lesson on uh, songs of joy and praising God. Isn't it great to just take some intentional time and think about how good God is and uh, appreciate and be thankful for everything that God does for us and uh, just remember how awesome it is that God cares about us and wants to be in a relationship with us, have a relationship with us, wants to be our friend. Um, that's such a good thing to remember, and that's why we wanted to take this day to celebrate. You can take every day to celebrate that, obviously, but I'm glad that we were able to do it today for our whole Sunday school lesson. It's a good thing to remember. So as you go about this week, I hope that you can keep in mind some reasons to celebrate. Um, one big one, of course, is that God loves you. God loves you so much and I love you and 
your AUMC family loves you. Everyone at Aldersgate loves you. And that's a big reason to celebrate, but I know you probably have lots, lots more. So let's make this a week of celebration. Sound good? Thanks for tuning in to our Sunday School lesson today, and I will see you next week for another exciting installment of Moses and the Israelites and what happens next, okay? Have a great week, guys. Bye!